Welcome to this video about summarizing large texts. Large language models can summarize text quite well, but the text must fit into the context window. In this video, I will show you how to summarize texts that are too large for the context window. Here's the content. First, I set up everything, then I create a simple summary, then I look at the challenge, a text that's too large to summarize, then I describe the idea of a solution, which is creating a tree of summaries. And after that, I will go through the solution step by step in Python. At the end, there's a summary as always. And yeah, let's go. For our setup, we first need to import some libraries. And then I will load the API key, which is done by this line. Uh, the API key can be in an env file or in a environment variable in this case. Then I define which model I want to use. This is GPT 3.5 Turbo in this case. It works with GPT 4 as well. And I initiate a client for the OpenAI API. Next, I will create a helper method that gets a completion. I will do this also quickly from a copy text. This method just takes a user message, a system message, the model, a temperature, a max token, and returns the string, which is the completion from the model. It creates the messages structure with the system message and the user message, calls the API, and uh, passes also all the variables, and then returns the content of the response. This is here a line to test this one. Wait a second. Okay, that works. Next, I have a little helper function to print text in a wrapped format. Otherwise, very long text will be unreadable or we have to scroll and that's much easier to read. So this is um, also working. And then finally, I have a little method that counts the tokens. With long text, you will often worry about the costs. So that's why I like to have a yeah, method to count the tokens to have a big or high level estimation about the costs that will occur. So this is my helper method to count the tokens. As you can see, high has exactly one token. Okay, now we can start with a simple example. And I want to start with an example that's short enough to be summarized in one go. And for that, I have a little poem. The poem is called Christmas Eve. So this is our poem by Christina Rossetti. Then I count the token to check if it fits into the context window. 125 tokens, not a problem for our context window. It should fit. Then create a prompt. This is just our prompt and then a separator. In this case, I write text and append the poem. And the prompt is, what is this poem about? Give me a very short summary. Nice and easy. Our result should be a good summary, hopefully. So I get the completion with the prompt and print it out in a wrapped format. Okay. This poem by Christian de Rossetti celebrates the beauty and significance of Christ Christmas. Yeah, it works as you see, but let's look at a larger text, which probably cannot be summarized in one go. For this, I have selected Alice in Wonderland to give an overview how many tokens we have. We have 38,680 tokens, which is too much for the context window of ChatGPT or GPT 3.5 Turbo. I believe the context window of 3.5 is 32,000 tokens, so it doesn't fit. What to do about it? Let's look at the idea. The general approach can be called recursive task decomposition. This is breaking up a difficult task into easier ones. In this case, it's about breaking up the summarizing of a long piece of text into the summarizing of several shorter pieces of text. Here is how it goes step by step. At first, you have a long text. Then you split it into several segments. In this case, we have six segments. Then you create a summary for each of the segments. 
And then you create a summary of some of the summaries. And finally, you create a final summary. Of course, this could also be just two steps, like at first create the summaries of the text and then create the summaries of all the summaries. Or it could be a much deeper tree with, with maybe, for example, 10 levels. The interesting thing is that it principally works with unbounded text even. So much for the theory, let's do it in Python. And at first I will split Alice in Wonderland in two several chapters. The text has titles and the titles always have the title chapter in capital. So that's our way to separate the text. Then I iterate through all the chapters. Then I print the chapter so that I know where I am, count the tokens. As you can see, Alice in Wonderland has 12 chapters and each chapter is about 3000 tokens long, which really fits well into the context window. Now I create the summaries for each of the segment. At first have a prompt for getting the summaries and then iterate through each of the chapter and create a summary for the chapters. So let, let's first create a summary. And here we have the get completion and I pass the chapter as the user message and the prompt as the system message. Then I want to print a summary to see what we have. Print the tokens. Print the summary in a wrapped format and append the summaries to our list. Okay, that's it. Let's check if it runs. Okay, we are done. 11 chapters starting with number zero. So we have in total 12 chapters. Let's create a summary of the summaries. I use a different prompt for this because the text is already quite dense. It's not an original chapter, but already a summary. And in my experience, it works better when you have a different prompt for creating summaries of summaries. So here's a prompt. And I put in, it consists of summaries of chapters of a book. Please summary, summarize these summaries. At first, I join all the summaries into a variable. Then I create a top level summary and then I print it. That's our final summary of Alice in Wonderland. You can summarize very long texts by creating a tree of summaries. There are certain advantages compared to creating a summary in one step. At first, it works with large texts, even with unbounded text, if you like. It is also better to evaluate the performance. For example, when you want to summarize a book, who reads the book? Yeah? Who can actually say this is a good summary? And with the smaller summaries, you can read a chapter and decide if it's a good summary. Next, there is a traceability. Yeah? You can trace the summaries to the original text segments. And you can use the summaries also for knowledge retrieval. The performance depends on three things, the model, the segmentation, and the prompts. With the segmentation, you can think about the boundaries, so where to split the text, and of course also the segment size. Usually the segment shouldn't be too small and also not too large. 